Hey guys, Alex here, and um, I showed you this RC car before. This was built by Billy C. LaWorth. Um, during the shipping, it got damaged. Uh, that was a while back. Um, anyways, me, me and Billy uh, sat down over Skype, and he, uh, he instructed me on how to fix this one piece at a time. Like, this part was broken off, the side cages were broken off, and same with this rear cage. But now, look at that. It's, it's back to where it was, looking very... Uh, resplendent and beautiful but yeah this is uh based off the the roadrunner in uh daylight's end that is a post-apocalyptic zombie movie and uh the original car was uh owned by dan and uh he sent me a lot of pictures and i sent those pictures to uh, billy to so that he could do his rc magic on this body now the the chassis is a red cat chassis let me show it to you really quick in case you're wondering, let's take off the pins. Yeah, I do plan to drive this kind of rough, so we went with the uh, these kind of pins instead of the magnet system that Billy normally uses, because I do plan to drive this quite a bit. All right, so let's take off the body here. There we go. So yeah, it's just a red cat chassis. Just one of these. And here is the uh, the Red Cat remote for it. Pretty sweet. Now the chassis, it's 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 definitely affordable, and uh, that's why we chose this chassis because uh, we're mainly in in it for the looks. Because uh, like me and Billy, you know, we make uh, you know RC videos, so we we really just want the looks. And if it goes too fast, and you can't really film it, you have to slow it down. And then Billy had these really awesome wheels that he got for me and it's a pretty good look for it but uh yeah this body is where it's at it looks just like the uh, the one in the movie so it's pretty sweet I'll try to put this back on really quick so I can talk about the the body a bit more I mean we, we've already talked about it hold on can't really see anything from this angle there we go. But yeah, yeah, Billy put a lot of work into this uh, body, and it, it really shows. He's a huge fan of the, the Mopar, the old school Mopar. Oh shoot. Paint job's exquisite. Yeah, basically in, in the movie, um, the main character has this, uh, he's a roadrunner, and because it's, you know, the zombie apocalypse, he puts uh, these, uh, armored cages on the windows to prevent the zombies from just ripping through the window, tearing the driver apart. And uh, the hero is from New York, as you can see. So we got the exact license plate numbers and uh, plate style from the movie. And also, hold on, let me put this last pin in really quick. In the movie, uh, he also drags this uh, freezer across, which had a zombie inside, and this is an actual uh, chain and hook. I can probably drag some stuff with it, see that? Drag some uh, zombie bad guys with it. It's really sweet though. Really good details. Now, uh, this, this body, it started off as a Nico Superbird. Let me show it to you. I'll put this back over here. So good to have this thing nice and... Uh, Super glued on and epoxied together. Now the, the original is this a nineteen uh, what seventy uh, Plymouth Superbird made by Nico one ten scale as well. This is it's actually pretty fun to drive. It makes the engine sounds on it. But this is what it started off as. The proportions are all wrong, as you can see. So uh, Billy had to uh, you know uh, extend some of the pieces to it, cut off the hood. There's a little engine inside. Uh, take off the super board. This is the super bird uh, wing. Um, this part stayed pretty much intact. The uh, the rear panel, and then he actually had to completely make. He had to fabricate the front grill. See this super bird grill. When he cuts this off, there's nothing there. So this is what he did. Like he made this front part himself. That looks pretty damn good, doesn't it? It's got even the the headlights on it too. So he did a pretty damn good job on this. 
RC vehicle. Now, um, I've been saying this for a while. I, I am gonna make, I'm gonna make two more videos, at least two more videos with this RC car. Like, I want to show, you know, just uh, raw footage of this car driving around, you know, just to see how it runs. And then ultimately, I am going to make a uh, RC uh, short film. I want to uh, make a video about this car set in the uh, the daylights and uh, universe. So, you know, have, have more of a story to it, not just driving around. But that'd be more story oriented with lots of uh, driving footage. So at least two more videos with this car. And then I'm going to put it on display. Definitely uh, one of my favorite collections in my RC collection. But anyways, if you want to see how this RC car was built, I'll link you to uh, Billy's uh, build video for this RC car. It's pretty intense. But anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed this look at this RC car, inspired by the Daylights and Roadrunner.